name is Bob Warner and this is House to House. I'm coming first of all to my brothers and sisters from Flam Flamborough Christian Fellowship and then I uh, want to reach others beyond uh, them but first of all to you uh, loved children of God. I'm coming to you with an encouragement. I want to come right into your home and just talk with you face to face. This is from Ephesians chapter 4 verse 14. It says, for this reason, this is Paul the Apostle praying, for this reason I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. That's you. That's you. He's, he's coming to God, your Father. And you are a part of his family. And he prays this, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory. I want you to understand that there are riches in the kingdom of God, riches that are far beyond the riches of this world, and this is that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory. We're going to make a withdrawal today from heaven. <laughs> We're going to make a withdrawal from the glory and the goodness of God today. That he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened. We're going to draw strength right now. To be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man. Father, right now we are drawing from the riches of your glory. We are making a withdrawal. We are withdrawing strength okay, from the Holy Spirit into our inner man. He says, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. We are receiving, we are withdrawing from the riches of glory in Christ Jesus. We are drawing strength into our, our inner man, into our hearts, so that Christ may dwell there by faith, that we might have the faith to lay hold of the reality that Christ is living in our hearts. This is so important. What he's saying here is that the natural mind, the, 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 uh, in the natural, we don't have the strength to hold on to this reality. We, we live in a world that's full of pressures and, and full of difficulty. It's, it's a hard world to live in okay? many times. And, and in the midst of those pressures, it is so easy for us to be drawn away from the reality that Christ lives in our hearts. So he's praying. Okay, that out of the riches of God's glory in Christ Jesus, we would be able to withdraw strength in our inner man so that Christ would dwell there. We would hold on to that reality that Christ dwells there by faith. Now you've heard that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. you you've heard that. You've heard that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world, you've heard that we have everything that we need for life and for godliness so that we have the, the power of transformation okay, at work in us and we have the power to break free from corruption living within us and we can, we can draw from that through our relationship and our experience of knowing Jesus Christ. You've heard these things. You've heard that Christ in you is the hope of glory. You've heard these things, and yet it is so often that these truths that we know in the pressures of life seem to escape us. And so here is the prayer, that, that God by His Spirit would come, and He would strengthen us with might in the inner man, so that Christ would dwell in our hearts by faith. See, this is the reality of God's love. God has placed Christ within us so that all of the fullness of God dwells in him and we are complete in Christ. God has placed Christ in us so that all of the favor and the delight of heaven is resting upon us. God has placed Christ in us so that everything that we need to become everything we were called to be is ours already within us. We are not asking for heaven to to. Uh, to, to give us something that is external. We're not begging heaven to come in time. God has already made preparation. He has already made provision. He has placed all of his grace in Christ. 
and we continually receive grace upon grace. That is God's empowering presence, God's empowering favor at work in our lives moment by moment, need by need. It's all because God has loved us so much that he has already placed Christ within us who is the fullness, who is the reality, who is the certainty of all that God has planned for us being accomplished within us. And so I'm praying today that your roots, the roots of your faith would go down deep in that so that God, no matter what winds are blowing around your life, you can't be uprooted from that reality. I am praying today that you would begin to draw and nurture from that reality and somehow there would be a spirit of faith. I'm releasing a spirit of faith over the people of Flamborough Christian Fellowship and all who are going to hear this message. I'm releasing a spirit of faith so that you would be strong in your heart, so that your inner man would be rooted in the reality that Christ is living within you and that your roots would be drawing and nurturing all of your sense of identity, all of your sense of security, all of your sense of hope for the future. You would be drawing and being nurtured. Your soul would be nurtured from this reality. And then you would begin to go beyond that to realize there's so much more that the Father has prepared for you and placed in Christ that is yours to discover. And the Holy Spirit has come to lead us and guide us into that reality. And I'm praying that you would understand that God gave his son Jesus Christ to be the atoning sacrifice so that through his death we would be reconciled unto him. But now that we have been reconciled through the death of his son, salvation is at work within us through his life, the life of his son now living in us. And so here's the reality. If God did not spare his own son, but gave him up to be the atoning sacrifice, now that we have been reconciled to him, how much more will he through Christ freely give us all things? Say that to yourself. All things. All things. Everything that I need for life and for godliness is in Christ, and Christ is living in me. Ah. Oh. My prayer is that we would lay hold of this and grasp it. I've experienced the, the pull and the shaking and the pressure and, and, and I've, I've sensed the, 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 uh, the strength of that pull wanting to take me away from this reality. But I thank God for the Holy Spirit living within me who is constantly leading me back and rooting me into this reality that I am not facing life alone but Christ lives in me. Would you be encouraged and strengthened today? I pray in Jesus' name.